Hello everybody and welcome to part 16 of the Blender 2.80 Absolute Beginners course. I really hope you had great fun with the video 15 where we've created the amazing house on the water scene. But now we will dive deeper into the edit mode and learn how we can select different things in different ways. As you remember from the earlier videos, one of the ways to select things in, in Blender is using the select tool here and different options of that tool. So very often I was just using a left click and hold kind of selection. And But what if I told you there are different ways of selecting things. For example, if I want to select a raw of vertices, I'm having a pretty hard time doing it with a box selection because there's always something in my way. I could switch to the orthographic view from a perspective view to make it easier. But Blender also gives us an amazing way to do that. And we call that way an edge loop selection. And what I mean by that, let's switch to the edge view here and you can see I'm just clicking around, but I'm selecting the entire circles of edges on my sphere. The way to do that is you press and hold an Alt key and then you just left click around the object. And what an edge loop is, well, as you can see, it's a continuous line of edges. It doesn't have to be closed like the one we have here because an edge loop is also this line of edges here. And an edge loop usually ends either in a central point like we have here or on a triangular face like this. So you can see we have multiple edge loops going around the, the, the sphere but not all of them are closed like the ones uh, like the ones here. What's different to an edge loop but quite similar at the same time is an edge ring. And by edge ring I mean this kind of a selection we have right now. So you can see these are a single edges which are the parts of similarly looking edge loops on the object. We can also select the edge rings in this direction and again we can see these are the edges uh, belonging to those, ed uh, to those edge loops that go around the, the sphere. And the way to select an edge loop is holding both Alt and Control keys. So if you do that and click around the object you can see we now select those kind of uh, yeah, things. So Alt stands just for the edge loops and Alt plus Control that stands for the edge rings. If you're not a big fan of using the keyboard shortcuts you can of course uh, do those selection manually using the menus here. So let's hold a shift key and select multiple edges. Let's now go to the select tool and select loops. Sorry. Oops, I lost it. So again, loops and edge rings. So you can see Blender now selects these for us. If you just select a one edge and go to the loops and select loops, we have, well, an edge loop selected. Of course, if you do it using the keyboard shortcuts for edge loops, it's holding Alt key, then pressing the Shift key and holding it and doing your selection. So it's like that. And for the edge rings, this becomes a little bit more complicated. So you have to press and hold Alt, then Control and then Shift. So with all those three keys pressed, you can now select things around your 3D model. So it might be pretty tricky for your fingers at first, but once you get used to it, this is a very, very powerful tool and it speeds your work well greatly. 
You might remember from video 14 that we have multiple uh, deleting options in the edit mode and some of these modes also apply to the edge loops and edge rings. So if I select an edge loop and press X, you can see here at the bottom of the list I have edge collapse and edge loops. So let's just use this method here and you can see what it does. It's actually removing an edge loop and filling the space between those two rows of the remaining edges. So a normal way of deleting stuff is just choosing one of the options here. So let's choose vertices and you can see we have this uh, huge opening in the model right now. But if we just choose edge loops, this removes a row of edges, a row of vertices, but keeps the geometry uh, connected. So a pretty, pretty good way to reduce, let's say, uh, the amount of geometry on your model or to do many other things. It's just one of the examples. We can also apply the same delete tool to the edge rings. So let's use a click by click method. I just select one of the edges, then go to the edge rings. And when I press X, I choose edge collapse. And this works a little bit differently. It kind of merges those two edge loops in in the somewhere in between those faces. So if I select an edge ring, you can imagine a middle point somewhere around it. So when I click X and choose edge collapse, those two edges we had are merged in the middle of the ring. So these are two pretty interesting uh, edit mode techniques, which we will be using later quite often. Uh, for now, you can just play around with these as usual. I just want you to be aware that it's there. And if, when it comes that we are actually using them, uh, yeah, I want you to know what's actually happening. So let's see what else we can do. This will be super handy. Um, if I, when I'm in edit mode, as you know, we can duplicate things around it. When we ent exit the edit mode, we have all those geometry pieces stacked in a single object. And before, if I wanted to select one of the elements in the edit mode, I was always using the selection tool and just drawing a selection box around it. But what if I told you you can just do it this way. Um, yeah, like why didn't you tell me earlier? Well, sorry for that, but it's well, it's a lot of things to cover. So anyway, uh, a method for a very, very quick selection of anything in the edit mode is pointing your cursor over the geometry and then pressing the L key and L as you can see here stays uh, states for linked. So it selects everything this geometry is connected to. And what I mean by that, I want to show you here in this example. So obviously you can see we have two separate uh, meshes in this object. When I uh, L click, let's call it this way, over uh, over any of them, we have to do it twice. But if I remove those vertices here, let's just do it like that. And if I connect those pieces of geometry, now when I press, when I hover my cursor over one of them and press L, you can see they are both selected. And that happens because the L uh, tool, let's call it this way, uh, it selects everything which is kind of physically linked together or joined together in the edit mode. So I don't have to do this uh, feeling that I'm doing right now, by the way, which goes by pressing the F key. And which, by the way, since we are talking about edge loops, as you can see, it actually follows an edge loop. So we have an edge loop here and if I do the Alt left click selection, 
Blender will also highlight those two edges here. And if we have something like this, usually, not always, but usually when you select uh, one of the edges that could be also selected as an edge ring, if you select one of them and start pressing F, this will start filling the gap. Blender kind of automatically knows where to go with this uh, feeling uh, motion. I don't know if it's the right word. Anyway, let's let's show it here as well. If I delete the edges and if I select those two faces and link them by pressing the F key, now you can see we had an edge ring in this area here. So if I select this edge and start pressing F key, Blender kind of knows like, okay, I will just follow those two edge loops here on top and here at the bottom and I will just start filling everything that happens to be between them. Pretty cool thing, yeah, but getting back to the selection, again, just to rewind, uh, I hover my cursor over something and I just press L key to select. A final selection tip to end this video is growing the selection. So let's go and select this vertex here and let's say we want to now select those vertices here. So normally you would have, right now since you already know how to use the edge loop um, tool or whatever feature, uh, you can hold shift, hold alt keys and just start clicking like that to grow your selection. But what if I told you we can do it this way without uh, selecting any of the edges. And to do this, you just select anything, even this vertex here, then you press and hold control key and start pressing plus key on your numpad. So what it actually does is growing the selection for you. So let's visualize it somewhere. We select one point here, press and hold control and start pressing the plus key on the numpad. So you can see the selection is growing to the nearest vertex possible. Pretty cool thing, uh, especially when you have multiple objects in the edit mode and you just want to be sure you're selecting one of them or as in the very beginning of this example, you want to just grow your selection uh, regularly like this. And to do that from a menu, if you don't have a numpad, just go to the select. Uh, let me just find it. And more or less, yes. So you just select more. And you can see we have a shortcut listed here. So I hope that video was informative and you learned a lot and we will keep on going and exploring the edit mode in the next video. So see you very, very soon.